was scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very good. Very good. Life I'm used to it anyway with Gordon around. My voice is gone. Funny, I know that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got it's there's mellow and mellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because I haven't done it. I'm not singing so much, so Yeah, Gordon's found it actually. His voice isn't the same as it was. It's I quite like it actually, because it's as a I said to myself, it's like there's a a, a I don't know, a I suppose it's a bluesy weakness. It's funny. I can't yeah. describe it. Your throat, you're sorry, you're, all your voice and everything is like a muscle that you have to keep trained. Yeah. It? And if I, you there used to be a much, song. There used to be a song that we used to, that I used to sing in the band um, called World Shut Your Mouth. Yeah. And I can normally sing that song any time of day, whatever. But on the band, I would always have to sing it right at the end because it would lose my voice and I could physically feel it's the only song I know where I'm singing it I can feel the little um chords the yeah. strings in me vocal cords really? yeah they, they get so tired they wouldn't work ah uh, it's the most you someone that doesn't sing you can't describe it but no no I wouldn't you can know. imagine there's like a a piece of muscle I suppose it is back long like that yeah. And the reason you make a noise is because it vibrates and you sing. Yeah. Laffer gets so tired it won't move. <laughs> and you're trying to sing and nothing's coming out. Really? It's absolutely but you can feel it in the back. It's really weird. How strange. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know you have to exercise it. It was just that one song. It's really anyway, weird. morning, Chris. Morning. Morning. My my um tablet screen i don't know how to make it brighter it's really dark this morning oh right um, i like it dark <laughs> well i like to be able to see what i'm doing see what everybody's <laughs> doing <laughs> yeah i don't know whether um your tablet could go gone. right well that's the right premiere no well, it's I'm just gonna now. try it's not now <laughs> If I disappear, you know why. I'm just trying to brighten the screen. Okay. Yeah, you just did. Hang on. Just disappeared. Carol's morning. Morning. Carol. morning. Morning. Sorry, I've got to sit forward to say hello. Oh, hello. Morning, hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, you all right? A bit better, thank you. Good, good. Managed to, get rid, of, managed to get rid of the steroids at last. Oh, yeah, that's so good. I'm then, isn't it? a bit better now. Good. Oh, that's good. Right. Oh, it'd be better when this weather warms up, Winston. Yeah. Still good. Oh, morning. Yeah. The third yes. arm, your third yeah. arm shrunk. <laughs> oh, you have to excuse me. I'm, I'm sort of eating breakfast that I didn't have. All right, I'm eating a chocolate bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went oh, to get yeah. a biscuit and I thought, oh, there's a crunchy there. Mine is far more um, yeah. oh. <laughs> more healthy than yours. Oh, they look oh good. right. Yeah, they Ooh. look good. They're really nice. Yeah. Mm. They're just dried beans. Why are they green? Oh. Mm. Well, I always have these yeah. ones, don't I? Which is the. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. This one, these are P P and B. You get loads of different ones. Oh, yeah. beans. This one's P and bean. All bean. right. I've got I've got a shelf full up here. <laughs> now, now kept buying them. Like, and I, I said I don't eat. I I don't get through a box of those in a week. Well, if I do <laughs> it, it, it's at least a week. She said, yeah, but when they're on special offer, I'm so, <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. probably got a year's supply here. Oh, is that your midnight snack, is it? <laughs> yeah, I just eat, um, to, at the moment, I'm doing um, those little orange things, mandarins or tangerines or whatever they are. Oh, yeah, they're nice. That's my, my supper treat is those. Oh, right. Two of those. 
Oh, Should I've got the munchies at the moment. My appetite's come back and I can't stop eating. It's horrible. <laughs> I was going to say, you look much larger than you did last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I have put on, I think, oh dear, I have put on a few pounds, but I needed to. <laughs> oh. It doesn't matter. No. Well, I, I, I went down to seven stone, ten and a half. Oh, yeah, I know, I know you're you're not tall, but that's too small. Yeah, so I've gone out. I'm just over eight now. So yeah, you're a lean machine. Well, I'm not. My tummy's getting fatter now. My trousers are getting tight, but never mind. In May, we've got christening. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Well, I just said I might have upset Mel. She bought some. Oh dear! Everybody's not... gone funny. Um, what do you mean gone funny? Oh. Yeah, she bought some clothes. You disappeared. From, from Mel. Oh, oh what's that? <laughs> anyway. This could be Joyce. Morning, Gordon. Bye. Well, oh, Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's the dog? <laughs> no, it's all right. We have Morning, Dyson. It's Joyce. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> I, Hello. I, I, um, I've got a new machine, so therefore I'm just sort of um, <laughs> finding oh, out wow. how things are, are working. Just came okay. up as Zoom user. Oh, right. So. Uh, Ah, but you haven't. That's only because you I haven't, haven't put, put your um, settings in Zoom, your name and that. That's all. No, I need to do that then. No, no, don't worry. Not, about not it. at this precise moment, but there we go. <laughs> oh, don't do it now. I'll probably never see you again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I could be off <laughs> painting in the no, assault. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <need> new glove. <laughs> there she is. Morning. Hello. <laughs> I'm calling. Oh, Pauline. Morning. 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 Everybody all right? Yeah, we're fine. Good. good. Okay. Hands up. Who's been putting their heating on? We have. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. I could no. do with it. Oh, I did just once, just to what I did last week, That's just it. to room it up a couple of degrees. Mm. <laughs> But then I turned I, it off quickly. I've only had it on for like half an hour the odd time, sort of Take probably in the early evening because it starts to get a bit chilly. Oh, so. no, I haven't had mine on at all. All oh, right. I went down to the lounge <laughs> first early this morning and I opened the the door and I thought, crikey, somebody's taking the windows out. This was me last night though. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrapped up in my, in yeah. my big um, hoodie. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, I've, I've, always, I've always got a blanket over my knees and my legs, but uh, but yeah. Oh dear! Yeah. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's when it comes down to the knees, and with a hood and big oh. pockets in the front. Right. And I, just, I just put that on in the evening over my ordinary clothes, whatever I got on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. good idea. You know, so you know what's going to happen, don't you? It's going to come in boiling hot one day. We won't know what, how to cope with it. We'll <laughs> <Yeah. done. laughs> I will learn. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I don't like it when it's really. No, hot. no gosh. The basil plants can't make up their mind whether to grow or go back into hibernation. Excuse <laughs> 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 And I'm not. And I've. And the sweet peas are driving me mad. <laughs> oh. I had this. Brilliant. I, well, one of my daft ideas was to, you know, cover the front trellis at the front with sweet peas during the summer, but I can't see that happening now. Oh. Well, I've ordered, I've ordered, I've ordered some. 
I've checked it out on YouTube from the pros and I was planting them too shallow. So, mm. but it's knuckle deep, which is about an inch and a half, isn't it? So I've right. just done four more of that depth. But the, um, one of the things, if you've got mice, they'll find them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently mice are, are um, if you've got mice in your greenhouse or whatever, they'll find them. Oh, very tasty. Mm. <laughs> the way to stop it, yeah, this is a <laughs> deal of art. The way to stop it is to soak them in sea, seaweed fertilizer overnight. They don't like the taste of that. All oh, right. This is yeah. Sort of fiddling about, isn't it? Yeah. Stuffing about. No, it's like a major job. Make, yeah. well. well, I like your coffee, your coffee cup, Joyce. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah that was um, make it up, could you? Mother's Day present. Yeah, it's oh, lovely. Right. Okay. Yeah, looks looks quite big, is it? it it's it's a fair size. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my my dilemma is I was on a Thursday. When we go around to Mel's dad's, and I first thing I do when I get there is say to Mel, like, where's the kettle? Get the kettle on. And then I go for a cup. So I've got open up the, the cupboard of, with the cups in, and sort of every cup near enough has got granddad's best cup, Nana's biggest best <laughs> cup, Nana's <laughs> this, granddad's this. So, to, and I couldn't find one that didn't have a special. <laughs> Message to oh. Nana or Granddad on it. So I'm, like, oh. I'm sure they would mind you. You just say, "I'll bugger it." I'm I'm a Granddad, so I grab one, and, and as I put it down, I thought to myself, "Do you know what? That's going to be the one, the special one that you wouldn't shouldn't have touched." touched. <laughs> I was spot on as well. Oh no! Uh, she said, "What cup of mug are you using? Well, can't use that." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. that one disappeared and I got a replacement oh. yeah. take your own next time <laughs> mm. <laughs> I do take my own tea bags mm. that looks familiar mm. where have I seen mm. that before I didn't enjoy this week at all yeah. Yeah. Very it just, wasn't about enjoyment it was about I just <laughs> I took me age and I thought, oh, my God, I saw this blooming house and I, I just didn't want to do it. That's really good. Oh, I don't know who's that is. Who's this that? This is that. that I can't lady. see it. Who can't? I can't. I can, I've got Carol on oh. my picture. Oh. You need, to go to, um, you need to change the view on your thing. Um, Who's is that lamp? That's good. Pauline. Oh, that's good, Pauline. <laughs> Let me stop the share and see what happens. Who have you got on your screen now? Paul oh, Pauline's gone. Oh, she's not there. That's me. I've, I've come out. I'm going to get... All right, I'll try again. Oh, you're on the screen now, Pauline. Oh, am I? Yeah. No. Oh, there's your picture now. Oh. I can see I can see the picture now. Yeah, it's That's good. good. Oh, get... oh yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I got it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. I mm. framed it. And oh definitely. She did, she did a part two. Oh. So oh. Did, one did... with one without. One without one without what? The boat and the two chat. Oh. <laughs> so um, oh. anyway, oh. I've gone for the one with the people with the picture. That's really nice. I don't mm. I stick with what I was saying last week. Doesn't matter how you paint this, it's going to have a contemporary feel to it. Mm. It, it just does. The summit, it's, my, it's not just my eyesight, but look at that. That looks really nice now. Yeah, it's good. Fabulous. Mm. Bearing in mind. Who was that? Oh, that's, Joyce, that's, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's that's be good. Good. I like it that. Is. I like the people walking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the elements I, I are all start, there. Yeah. Start yeah. off the big sheet of paper. I shouldn't start off with a big sheet of paper. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yeah no, that looks lovely. Framed up really nice. I enjoyed that one. 
Yeah, I, I enjoyed it actually. Oh, I didn't I then. I didn't. I didn't. Hated I didn't. It. Have, Hated I didn't it. enjoy it. So I it got shows my house my... all out of proportion. Yeah. I didn't get my house right. But hey. I don't know if I showed you the um the one that it was that it was all based on. Nice, yeah. That's but nice. Was, Chris, mm. Christine's, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. nice. I thought it looked all, um, like I said, it, it's got, um, they all got a contemporary. There's something going on down on this left hand corner. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my children's swimming. Yes. <laughs> oh, I Do you know what? I didn't even notice them. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> they're swimming. And that's their prior clothes on the beach. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Oh gosh. See, it's gone I contemporary, do isn't it? My house. Yeah. <laughs> gone contemporary because you've got a story within the story. Yeah. You've got three men in a boat, two kids playing in the thing. Mm. Mm. A house that isn't there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so the beauty of it is these are historical documents now. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Carol mucked hers up again, yeah. as you can see. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, that's awful, Carol. How could you yeah. choose picture? <laughs> well, I think it is. I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> well, the, yours has gone contemporary as well because you've got stepping stones up to yeah. the two doors. Yeah. No yeah. one else thought of that. <laughs> Oh Everybody gosh. thinks of something different, don't they? Yeah. I think it's crappy paper because every time I um, paint, okay. when I go back and water it, all the paper oh, comes. Right. I don't think it was. I don't. Think it was very good paper. I can't remember what it's. Like. I've only got one more sheet left anyway. Yeah. I never know who's booked when I go buy a book of paper. I never know which one to get. Really, what does everybody else use? Mate, Ar archers, archers, archers. Yes, archers or or blocking forge. Oh, I've had blocking forge. Yeah, this was somebody else. I can't think who it was now. I can't remember what mine is, but it's not. Um... Archers is quite a good general one, isn't it? Is it right? Yeah. Um, kind of. I've gone off it, but there you go. That's just oh. me. <laughs> Because that's the one I'm always complaining about. Oh, is it? That it's sized. Mm. It's sized mm. in the it's sound inside. The top oh. the top bit absorbs all the paint. And then it, when you try to wash it off or clean it out, it's really difficult. Mm. Oh right. Got blotting paper, then the size, and then another blotting paper. That's so, what Gordon was saying about that. I find it because I bought it, because all the portrait arches so good, seem to say, well, we're mm. using arches. It's like a mm. it's top quality class people. You didn't like that. So I went out and bought some, and I tell you the truth, mm. I'm better off with the um, Two Rivers stuff. Mm. I've used Bela Rowney. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's some um, size. Bockingford's good, because that's sized on the top. I always used to use Bockingford when I did watercolours. Yeah. Many moons ago. On my Facebook page now, I get lots of art things come up. And I've, oh, I've, got, I've got to try it. It's with acrylic and you pour it all on. There's this girl from Australia. She, she does some oh, fantastic yeah. things. Yeah. I, but I think, oh, I better wait till the weather's me. warmer and go out in the garden and do it. <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is pretty messy. Yeah, but I I, I just love so that. I just well. yeah, but I just like that sort of thing. It's quite artistic, isn't it? I quite yeah. like it. That's I watched one this morning. She put it through a colander, and it came out like a big flower. You know oh, what? It mm, oh, it was yeah. lovely. It's more craft than art, isn't it? Yeah, but it's nice. It's sort of abstract, isn't it? When you've got yeah. it up on the wall. It, it feels nice afterwards as well. It's a bit sort of, um, oh, how to describe a bit like enamel, how yeah. it actually sort of solidifies. But do you, do you have to buy special um, paint for that? Or is it, do you walk to show? I can't make out what they put in it. They put something in to make all the bubbles come up. They put a heat blower on it. 
Um, mm. Or do you just water it down? No, you have to put stuff in it. I, I got haven't done it yet, but I did get some. I can't remember what it was. It's a bit like an oil-based um, mixture. Right, and okay. you mix it, you mix it with the paint. But okay. I did see on one of the um, art stores that you can actually buy um, liquid acrylic, which is already mixed. Oh, that would be it. handy, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to have a go at that. Pour it. It's just um, pouring paint. Paint for pouring, isn't it? Mm. Some I'll people get... use um, mm. resin to do the same thing. Now you're in. Mm. Now you're into interesting stuff. Oh, right. The only problem with that is you need <laughs> you need a fumigated you need a room where you can do it and shut the door and never never go in there for a week because <laughs> it's resin, oh. isn't it? Epoxy, oh, yeah. epoxy resin, and the smell is just well, it can make you ill. Well, why don't you put all the paint on the bubble wrap? And put the canvas down in it, and that came out nice too. Oh, right. And then she get, and then she gets balloons with water in, set so you can hold them different sizes. And you put them on the paint, and they come out like a flap. You know, oh, it's really oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 I must admit, I've got no interest in doing it. It's far too messy and too many. <laughs> too many. I've got enough blinking materials with so many different crafts. <laughs> That I buy in a, and I don't ever use them. Yeah. So I've Aww. got a dog on my lap trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I must admit, I've I've been up at the gallery and that when people have been selling it. Mm. I'm thinking. You don't like it. It's sort of the instant reaction is, oh, cool, wow, and that's about it, and it stops Be after you. that. And the problem yeah. is, well, I'm not saying don't do it, but the thing is, everyone, it's everyone can do it. You know, you just stick the canvas in the kitchen floor and chuck paint over it, and or you get a, a an old, if there is such a thing, Potter's wheel. Put the paint, put the canvas in the middle, and then spin it, and then yeah. put it in, and. <laughs> Oh, you can get lots of different then you get a stick and pull it out while yeah. it's going so yeah she, she does one with like a chain and she turns it round and pulls yeah. it and it comes out like a lily yeah. oh you've been fabulous. watching it as well <laughs> I've, I've watched several of them and i think they're fabulous no i do <laughs> there was a lady this morning i just watched quickly she did it on a big round table and she did like mm. um she did two lots of blue and sand like a beach thing and she actually put sand proper sand on oh. the sand color and then um yeah she got her dryer and sort of did the waves. Oh, it looked, it looked oh, fabulous. Yeah. It, I, I think you have to put something on it as well because it was on a, on a proper table. So I didn't know what it was to cover it, you know, and then to seal it all. I, all. They I, make I it just look so easy. They make it look so easy, but I bet if yeah. I tried to do it, it yeah. would be just a big muddy mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some old acrylic, so I thought, oh, I'll have a go one day. I'll get Molly out there with me. <laughs> I've got some plastic yeah. aprons. Yeah. We really, really need loads of um, plastic cups. Yeah, they put them in the cups, don't they? Plastic cups. Or, and then, but you can keep it, um, keep the paint active. Yeah. Cling film it, it'll keep it going, won't it? Mm -hmm. I got well, we look forward to seeing what you do with it, Carol. Oh, mm -hmm. well, I don't know where. Now look at this. Oh, my word. <laughs> Oh, it's going to oh. be interesting. Yeah, that was tea, funny yesterday. Is that your tea? <laughs> <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> Makes you feel hungry, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I could just eat one of those. Yeah, oh, yeah that, was, that was Chris's um, comment yesterday. She well, said, I asked you, Dave, what, what is tomorrow's subject? And you put burger, and I thought it said, I thought you meant to put bugger and you'd forgotten. And then the burger came up. I thought, oh no. <laughs> I was aware of that. Um, I thought when I posted, when I wrote the comment, I thought she's going to think I've, I've said, I've, I meant to say bugger. 
did. Mm. That's what I thought you meant to say. Look <laughs> yeah. at the pattern on the burger bun. Yeah. Well, we we fell that. right into that trap, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure one, my plate I'm... is going to be the same. Huh. Oh, yeah, email... we got through all that as well. <laughs> I got an email from from Gordy and it said um what was it oh there it is it said we ought to do a share a still life <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. picture, so we'll do that one at some point but then oh, so I instantly posted <laughs> um, sent back I said of oh, course cool. You must be psychic because this is the result of your. That's what happens to oh. you. Well, that's poetic. That. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know yeah. about this. I've got a nice because when we moved into the flat, the people that had the flat before, he worked for the BBC and he used to be a photographer. So we had some of their paintings they left with them and I've got one in the kitchen it's it's called Peter's and Lucia Garden and it's got all these lovely aubergines and bits on I'll have to send you a picture it'd be complicated to do but I thought oh it'd be quite nice you know yeah. Drop it. yeah I've, I've got um, a couple of I'll do that we got that one of Gordon sent oh, that, that looks worth an effort mm. um, but, but this isn't a garden it's all vegetables that are picked yeah. out of the garden yeah. you know what i mean that in spain yeah. yeah yeah i took a picture of a piece of a cake the other day i thought that would be great oh, what's that funny noise someone's someone's having a shave <laughs> that's gordon no, he's gone outdoors mm. oh <laughs> I sorry, I just blame Gordon if there's a funny voice. <laughs> 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 oh, I shouldn't do that, really. He'll go, he'll go off on a, yeah, go a off boy's on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what to what do you think about it. What, how do you approach this thing? <laughs> With great difficulty. <laughs> Late is the problem. <laughs> The plate yeah. and the lettuce. Yeah. Well, I when I did my sketch, I I forgot to post it, but um, I did put the lines on for the plate. And after about four or five, I thought oh, this is really yeah. boring, and just started going much with the pencil. I thought, mm, <laughs> am I going to spend yeah. a lot of time doing that? I don't think my plate's going to look like that one. No. I, I might thinking, do a plain white one. <laughs> yeah, oh. I think plan of action. I, I think what I'll do is see, um, thinking about it, try and do the background first, I think. Just for a laugh. Because I noticed the other day I did the background on the, one of the portraits, did it later. And it was really difficult to get the mm. the um the colours off of the inside. You know, it's I don't know, one or the other. I couldn't get it to work. But I was thinking about Joyce, I think that she sometimes does outline parts of the picture, which I think doesn't work mm. really good with this. Mm. Cool idea. Lines around <laughs> it. Um but I think the the key thing to remember, I think, is um as it's watercolors anyway is for the watercolor people is light behind the dark <laughs> start keep forgetting that that we should be paint you know concentrating a little bit more on our highlights and preserving them <laughs> mm. that's the trouble as soon as you start painting with a little bit of white in a picture um you're confident it changes the dynamic because now you can um, introduce white later on. And so the highlights of the, of the um, 
what do you call it, the original reference image <laughs> sort of phases back a bit. Anyway, I've sketched it. Let's change the microphone. Gosh, you do yours quite light. I can hardly see that. <laughs> Just about. <clears throat> well, I sketched it twice. Ah. The first time I, I did it, it was too low. Hang on, I've got... It's funny, now I'm start, starting to feel hot now. <laughs> I've been free. I went out with the dog and I have more layers on and I would in the middle of November. And a fuzzy hat. <laughs> what, people, what people must have thought, eh? Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. I can't work this out. I changed the microphone to the clip on one. And people can still hear it. You're not supposed to be able to. Never mind. We are recording, so... Da -da. Oh, it's, I've just had a nice idea. I've got this... manky tube of... ultramarine. Oh, it's the end of the tube, isn't it? So... This paper is the Arches one. You can see the issue there. Well, you probably it's you probably won't be on the camera, but where I've put paint drawn a grid with watercolor pencil and then used water to try and wash it off because I made a mistake, I can still see the faint lines. Mm. And that's arches. That's what we we're saying. It, the top when you it's like blotting paper initially. It is nice paper, but when you try to, you know, wipe things out and take take stuff off, it doesn't play doesn't play ball. I need to extend my plate a bit. As you can see, I I started off really okay. diligently putting pencil lines here and then I got to back here and I thought oh god yes. <laughs> <laughs> well you can't do that if you want to do that you have to sit down with a you know really closely and do it bit at a time when I'm not one of those sort of artists I'm afraid um, mix up some colours I think just going to do the background Chrissy says we're going for an early lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not, and it's going to be a veggie burger for me and her. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll turn it upside down for a minute. I'm just going to set the scene. Turn it upside down. Two pots of water. One is with dirty water from during the week. Well, it's sort of a milky colour. But that's one of the things if you use in this paper is it'll, it's it, initially when you put your wash on, you think, oh, that's really nice and wet. Then since you put paint on, you suddenly find it's absorbed a heck of a lot of the water. So it starts off really wet and it soaks in so fast. It, and it's and sometimes when you're stretching it, it does the opposite. It, it sort of sits there. Very strange. But it doesn't matter. It's just you just have to um it, accept the foibles and go for it once you get practiced it's all the same isn't it a lot of people would say that Bockingford and Langton Langton paper is the opposite they can't work with it because it 
does what it does. So <laughs> mm. it's a pays your money, takes your choice sort of situation, really. Where's that thing gone? Oh, I think I'll use the smaller dude. There's my palette. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I chopped up. Mm. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. <laughs> if you take, if you get scissors, yeah, and just go down the sides, you can open them up. You can see it. Don't know if that's got a blue in it or not. There, I'm looking upside down. Nice. I can't. Visualise it. Yeah, I think if you're using this paper, a good idea is just to get a atomizer spray bottle. Problem is, I keep admiring Chrissy's acrylic paintings. Then when I come to look at the watercolour, I think, oh, look at that, it's all namby pamby. There's no, no room for it. Mm. Then I start I correcting it. Correcting my picture, trying to get um, a bit more, as I call it, oomph in it. Mm. Forgetting that actually I'm supposed to be doing a watercolouring. <laughs> this is Alzerian crimson, or what's that other colour? Permanent rose. Anything permanent crimson. If I buy it, if I buy a crimson again a new tube, a replacement tube, I'll make sure it says permanent on it. Permanent Alzerian crimson. Because mm. the other, I, like I said the other day, the other stuff fades. It's therapeutic bit, isn't it? Mm. Trying to get the paint to I'm not going to finish it with this. I'm going to. Oh, no. You naughty boy. You clean water. I'll put the dirty brush in my clean water. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I'll do is I've got this um, Gordon's favourite colour here. No, maybe not. The colour Gordon told me I should be using. Is indigo. So that in got a bit of that. Add some green in it. Remember that thing from the other week that um, green and the crimson gets almost black. Really goes really dark. See if I can introduce. It's really. It's, so um the way we do things and think about things changes so much over these last few months. Keep introducing new sort of different ways of doing stuff. I know all the years I've been painting, I never used crimson and green to make a, a black. Or a really dark shadow colour. Watch, I'll do it now. Clean that up. Get a pool of a blob of green in there. Next, put the green. Look at that. It just goes whoosh. Mm. Really dark, intense. I mean, we're talking watercolours here. <laughs> Not supposed to be able to do well, it, it does dry back, doesn't it? Got plenty of water on there, anyway. So, I need to sort of squish it around, try and get some nice little. It's a bit like I used to do this with the sky. And you could get really lovely formations. It's a bit like 
pouring paint, Carol. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> quite. Oh. And the irony of it is, it isn't as contrite, you know, it isn't as random as you might think, because you have to sort of tilt it the right way to get it, you know, to get it to move. Mm. You look at it and you think, oh, that's going a bit too too far up the paper. You want it to come back down. What I used to do with the skies, after a little while, that it sort of the paper, the paint absorbs into the paper a little bit. And you get that sort of stage where you, you get like a matte sheen on it. It's not dry, mm. it's not bone dry, but it's it's set it's sort of setting off, if you like, for want of a better term. And then I used to sort of tilt it at a, a really wide angle for a little while, go off and put the kettle on and come back and I spend ages sort of, yep, yeah, no, yep, yeah, because it's still running just there and there mm. at this angle. And um, if that was clouds forming, you could, you can almost watch nature form mm. in front of your eyes while you're watching it which is great fun of course and then if we're doing skies we can just use our tissue to mm. tease off a few clouds so if you think of this background as a as a, as a stormy day <laughs> <laughs> So there's a lot of two guides in one here. But while it's damp, you can get away with it. Yeah, nice, sweet. Let's get the um wanted to clean clean water because I'm pretty sure at some point I'm gonna have to tighten up the burger and my plate. Should be able to lift it off. Try and get a straightest line. That one's not too bad over here. But with this paper, try and lift it off as quick as you can, really. Because <laughs> once it's sets it's really difficult given my my famous stick it under the bath with a shower mm -hmm. um, and it's not to work that bit and I've got the opposite issue there that I think I need to tease that bit across Hmm. Still running down there, isn't it? I just don't like mucking about with um, masking fluid, really. That's, that's the real crux of the matter. A bit more there. It'll dry back. If not, tears later. It's fine. In any case, if things don't go quite how you want, we just extend. The bun. It's fine. It's how, it, how it, you get that sheen on it where it's mm. set up, set, set off. Still wet, but 
Definite sheen. It's that sort of area, that part of the painting where you don't really want to use a hairdryer on it because it will. We got a burger color. <laughs> well, I think I'll um, set the scene. <gasps> oh, Too much yellow there. It's a bit <laughs> yellow. I was doing so well then. <laughs> <laughs> <It'd> be... <laughs> That's it. All... Whoa. If you do the painting and at the end of either call, cool, I want to eat that thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fancy that. I don't fancy that bat. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm looking at it. I'm going to clean up. I've got a clean area of palette here. Tidy this area of mud. Joyce is telling oh, Charles Evans, he never cleans his palette. Well, that's what he's telling me. He, he has that palette, he said, for 30 years. Oh, yeah. gosh. And, and it looks look like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, the palette's not the issue. It's, it's just dumping the paint straight in. It's just a mess. It all looks the same colour. I don't know how it gets different colours out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I think what I'm going to do is use, uh, while that top bit's drying off, find a, find a nice soft. I seem to be using this little brush quite a lot lately. I'm just going to concentrate or look. Lovely, thank you. Nice God. Clean water, Dave. That's all I want. Yeah. What I get? A lob of. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just going, oh, it's still there now. Oh, well. I penciled the, um, I was going to say the foliage. <laughs> but of course it's not, it's letters. <laughs> so I'm just going to, this is just clean water on the brush. No, it's not. <laughs> it's supposed to be clear water. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'm just going over the, the foliage, the lettuce <laughs> with the water, oh. trying to look at me thing. For those of you of a nervous disposition. <laughs> Please look the other way. Any, anybody been watching that gentleman Jack on BBC Sunday nights? I saw it the yeah. first time. Yeah, I first, yeah, I've gone off that. I watched the I first did. series. I didn't see it. I, I didn't fancy it. So. Yeah. Well, I can't get my head around that. the music. I like the music in it. Yeah, that's yeah. really upbeat, isn't it? It's really good. I just can't get my head around what the heck it's all about. <laughs> well, no. Well, I understand that, it, that it's a, <laughs> about female sort of gay thingy, but for the life of me, I, I can't quite fathom out. Yeah, we know all that. <laughs> we have, what, what about the story? Uh, I don't know. It ain't. It ain't a Bronte doodah, is it? Got to find some lemon, some really subtle green. And uh, I don't think that Viridian is going to cut cut it. Cut the mustard. <laughs> Burger, mustard. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll. I'll um, I think what I might do is, because it's, it's nice and damp, so this is just that yellow. I'm going to 
Layers. Carol? Yeah. What layers. colors are about layers? Hmm. Believe it or not. <laughs> Especially when it's portrait work as well. But less layers is better. No. Really, <laughs> yeah. The less layers we use. Well, too many layers equals mud. Mm. So think a bit along those lines. Oh, well, that curls right down there. But I did spend, well, I thought I did, but now I'm looking, I can't. Hmm. See where where I should be really, but while it's damp, if you want to sit there and paint every nook and cranny of the lettuce, by all means, feel free. <laughs> but you should be able to make it start off by making it damp, and then by utilizing this sort of methodology of layers. So I've started off putting a, a light color on first, which I've still got in there, mm -hmm. which was just a little bit of, cool, oh, blimey, strong yellow. Mm -hmm. Well, it's um, yellow is yellow to me. Mm -hmm. It's um, Terry Harrison's golden sunrise yellow. I think we'll, um, I suppose you've got to think, think lettuce, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Think. Oh, well, okay. I used to say, when I, years ago, when, um, when I was sort of doing my first watercolour class and that, and I remember um, Derek Hudson saying, as when you, Doing trees, and he said, "Just think trees, Dave." You'll be... <laughs> I can't remember what he meant. If you think about what it is you're trying to paint, I suppose it might help. Just looking for any darker areas at the moment. I did draw them, but I've lost them. <laughs> <laughs> the paints just filled them up. So I'm just dropping in some of the dark, darker areas. Cool, I could eat that now. <laughs> like you say, I'm feeling quite, it does make you feel hungry. Um, while that's doing that, there's three bits to that cheese, isn't there? Looking at it. There's a piece that, if you look at the, the reference picture, it, this, it comes down there, and there's a shadow line going across there. It's almost like it's folded. Mm. So it's one piece of cheese on top of another. So when, it's, when things are like that, it's a bit like flowers. I tend to, um, I'm going to use my side. Yeah. Um, I'll make hopefully I haven't got any probably have any too much green left in the brush make the that part of the cheese that I've just marked damp and then try and drop in some of this Yellow without green in it. I knew I did say on one thing, some it's gonna go daft. But like flowers, you start start with the darkest edge. Stop and then soften 
where the highlights are. Just let it do its bit. That's the thing about watercolours, you, you've got to, there's that sort of element of letting it do its stuff. Mm. You've got to let the water, the water, they, there's no doubt about it, but watercolour has a, let's try and put a hint of, question the top. Yeah, I've just put a little bit of that's um our sand color, which is I'm always saying if you're going to buy any color, buy sand. You can mix it up using raw sienna and burnt sienna mixed up together, and a little bit of crimson. What's the point? All you got to do is go. Well, I want I want that beigey sand colour, and then just add in a little bit of burnt sienna to it. And what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to make a pencil line. Just looking at the reference image. Because I noticed this bun. I only noticed it earlier when I when we were sh showing it on the computer that it has these they've put um a dusting of flour on the top or something in it to make it good oh i don't know what that i know what that'd be semolina mm. or something like that on the top when they cook it and then it gives it a it makes the the um, bungo, the top crispier, and also adds a little bit of flavour. You do it in pizzas, don't you? Pizza dough. Hey, cooking in <laughs> <lessons>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, you, you do it on the base of pizzas and flans. Oh, wow. <laughs> it gives them a, a nice crunch texture. Glad you came now, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, actually better put some uh, semolina on there from the paint. I think it's semolina. It's the it's yeah. the um. I don't think that one. You can hardly see it. So this is just clean water. No, supposedly clean water. So I've, where I've drawn, I've just put in some clean water. Then I've dropped my sand on. Ah. Well, the, the background's drying back quite nice. Quite pleased about that. That's what I'm doing at the moment, isn't it? It's um, chasing dry areas of paper. I think you'll enjoy this one, Carol. I hope so. <laughs> this is that beige colour that I mixed. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Could do a little bit more burnt sienna in it, actually. Warm it up. I'm not going to... I'm not going to cry. Oh, that's better, see? I'm going to cry over it. My plan is that the... Um, classic watercolour thing. I've made it damp. Now I'm just dropping in the colour, same as I did with the cheese. Feel like a drill. I'm just... Mm, yeah. You're feeling just hungry? Looks, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a giraffe. <laughs> a giraffe? The yeah, skin, yeah. You. And the giraffe. Oh. Just looks so easy when you do it. It's just clean water. Um, mm. I think that's if you. Oh God! <laughs> Background's not as dry as I thought it was. 
drop it on, come on, whatever. Wow. I was saying to Mel yesterday, I thought, you know, do really well on Tuesdays. Get me, you know, do a nice picture. And then I spend the rest of the week mucking about with it. (laughs) (laughs) Sort of tidying this up, changing this. And fixing issues like that's all spread right in amongst all the yeah. background there. Oops. It's, it's, when they're like that, it's best not to touch it. Not when it's this wet, just let it dry. A bit of more burnt sienna, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to do is take a bit of that off. That proper jar, and then drop some of that in, which was a bit of a, a warmer color. But it is a bit like press painting flowers where you put water on and then let the let it all just sort of flow down. I'm not sure how to paint that tapioca stuff, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Being, well, brutally honest, I think it's, I don't know why I'm drawn to um, using a fan brush. I was thinking about it a few in my mind's eye. Dotty, hasn't it? Dotty. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. 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 It's got little shadows on it. It's, the other, it's funny how, um, Painting something totally unrelated reminds me of when we were painting the moon. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that had, you know, the mm. craters of the moon, that had the same sort of shadows yeah. and darks mm. and same all sort I of method. See, all I can see looking at it is where it's bled into the background, but it's like mold. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh God! Maybe mold growing on it. Mm, got a mouldy old roll. <laughs> mouldy old roll. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If you wanted to do that, you wouldn't know how to do it, would you? Well, that, that was the irony of it, wasn't it? I was just <laughs> just blurting on about saying to Mel that I that I do a nice little picture. Well. An okay picture on a Tuesday morning, and then spend the next the next five six days till the following Tuesday with it on the table, just messing about trying to tidy it up. It's my fault. And as soon as I said that, that went like that. Mm. So, as, like I say, I'm going to, have to spend the next um, few days tidying up the brushes i haven't put any more paint on the brush now for quite some time so i'm just uh, when you do that the brush goes you get it goes dry so you can just sort of use it almost like like a watercolor pencil if you do need some extra paint on it just nick a bit off of where you've been before it will look a bit funny because I've got pencil lines on it mm. so until I wash rub them out at some point what I was going to do yeah it's a shame that bled in isn't it never mind yeah as I said I was going to get the um... I could always turn it into some bits of stray lettuce <laughs> well, I'll just clean it up. It'll be all right. okay. She's grabbing a fan brush and a bit of. Earlier on, I mixed up some green and crimson to do the dark bits in the in the what's it? So I think I might just. Slowly, gently. 
I can. I can pick up some paint on my way up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, no, because I'm just doing it. I just want it to be very, just a few subtle strokes. So, so yeah. I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm not, wasn't too sure on how to do it. But put your hand up sometimes and say, whoop. I think what I will do, I'll do it a different way actually. Wipe that off. It's the beauty of using um, this colour, base colour anyway. It's all it is, isn't it? You're using it as a base mm -hmm. colour. Um, and then add in the tone to it. I think what I'll do is I'll make, make a darker just adding burnt sienna to it and try that uh, oh have i got a brush that i don't mind smashing up here's one. Oh, no better not that's pure sable i don't think you should be smashing that up well it'll never come back to life again will it <laughs> see why that's pure. what's going on here. This is me. I'm not supposed to have all these posh brushes. <laughs> That's a right one. We give up. It's Terry's Terry Harrison to the rescue. Yeah, <laughs> he's got you can smash me brush up. See what happens. Hey, what happens? <laughs> Not much. The hairs all come out. Oh, my gosh. Getting... Okay. <laughs> Tell me what. I'm going to change my bun. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just think it could do with a a little little bit of same colour all over, over the lot, little background colour. Want stain spruce be round later. <laughs> Have you done that? Burger illustration for the um, the display. <laughs> Potter's bar. Potter's what? As I say, burnt sienna and the sand colour seems to be my go-to mix. It's quite pleasant today, actually, doing this. Mm. I'm sat down for a change. <laughs> All the way, I haven't stood up yet. As I say, it's the same, similar routine to painting flowers, but watercolour is what it is, what it is. You do it the same way. Put a line of colour on like that, then put your brush in clean water and go underneath it and just push it, just soften it down. And it forms the that nice graduated tone, doesn't it? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can always, if you've got one, then while it's damp, you can just drop a few extra bits off. Look at the base as well. Um, when it dries back, you should get a nice, relevant, a nice, Tonal blend. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of this crimson colouring to it and just put a little line, I'm sure I'm far underneath. Maybe a bit darker, actually. Well, at least I've set the scene. 
for a minute. I'll make it dark. I'll use a rigger or a thinner brush anyway. Make it a little bit darker. That's just the crimson. Adding that to the burger color. You can see it, you get quite a nice dark tone of it. Just put a line on. If I can get a little bit of shadow. Not quite as thick a line over here. And from what we learned earlier, if we add some green into that, we should get a nice grey shadowy tone as well. The water, water is just sitting there on this paper. Never mind. The end is near. <laughs> My, see if we can. Lift some of this stuff. A little bit of tissue. I know what Christine's thinking. Mm -hmm. I'll just get me a brush with some white on it and dab it on. <laughs> That'll give us the, um, the little. Well, I might do it at the end if you remind me, just to make it make those little edge bits while I'm here with this brush. I need to tighten that up there. And just soften this down a bit there. It's daft, isn't it? Put all those lovely colours on and then spend So much time just put paint on and spend the next 20 minutes lifting it off. Times I've said that about watercolors. Right. When you're when you're doing it with any no time restrictions, you just sort of concentrate on one bit at a time. What color are we gonna use for the Bit of onion. Any other a lovely colour. Lovely colour, couldn't you? Shadowy. Yeah, like a red onion, you know, dark. Yeah, I was just thinking, well, the, I've got that Alzerian crimson colour. If I add a little bit of blue in it, where they meet, I might get something. Along the lines of that I'm looking for. Maybe not. Trying to move my hand. Yeah, you do nice straight lines. I can't do that. <laughs> no, I just. It's funny you say that because I was just saying I was trying to move my hand, but where I've been going, like mm. down down the bottom here with oh. the brush, it's got wet. So when I tried to oh. move my hand, it's, it's wet, isn't it? It's just sticking. My hand's stuck. Normally, I I do that. I I run it along. I think I could do a bit more color in there, more blurry color. Okay. Don't get too far into the onion because I want to put um not in the onion into the lettuce. Ridiculous. 
Because <laughs> I'm, I want to put some really dark green bits down there where the, where the lettuce is. I think that yellow is dry. Down there. Um, yeah, so I can go just clean water again. Right the way across, I think I'll go right over to here. It's beauty of this sort of picture, really, isn't it? You can make it, you can. Mm, it's all in little sections, isn't it? If you want to put a bit of lettuce up there, then you can. <laughs> I'm trusting on the. Um, the art god, really, that that dries back a little bit less severe so that I can just lift it off later. Clean water. A line of paint, clean water, and then soften down at the base of the line. See if we can get it to travel, to blend itself in. Graduated tones, Joyce. Mm, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, it's water, isn't it? And the um, it's the water doing the work. That's what I meant. I'm just going to put a little bit of hint of some shadow there. Introduce a, which was just that little bit of crimsony. Mm. that I used for the onion but because I had a little bit of yellow on the brush we kind of know that it's going to make a shadowy tone a shadow of the yellow that we can put pretty much all the way along there It's a bit like playing snooker, isn't it? Not that I'm a big fan of snooker, says Christine. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm out every night playing bloody snooker. <laughs> no, it's you, you, or chess, in fact. You're sort of thinking um, two or three moves ahead. So... You start off by putting the yellow on, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking ahead by, by saying, well, I know I'm going to have to put some little shadowy bits in there to sort of make one, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just decided that it wants to be a bit stronger yellow. It's not the best yellow I've used. I think the yellow's all right. It's just all the contaminated bits of yuck that I've put in it it's while it's damp. So if we can tease a bit more. That's beauty of watercolour pencils, isn't it? Mm. When it's all dry, you can sort of just... Potter along. And while I've got that grey colour in my mind, what was it? There was a bit of yellow on the brush, added into that, gave me a sort of brownie grey colour. All follows through, doesn't it? While I've got that on the, I think what I've mixed up there is burnt, uh, burnt umber. <laughs> Or Van Dyke Brown. It's amazing what, what I just did there. So, anyway, that was a, shall we say, that was a happy accident. But well, I'm just using it as a base with clean water. How far down is it? No, it goes right down, doesn't it? Yeah, party talk. I am feeling hungry, actually. Mm -hmm. It goes right across to there, doesn't it?
quite a pleasant exercise. It sort of feels an illustration, doesn't it? Wait till Joyce gets hold of this. Yeah. <laughs> and while it's damp, say it's the same um, doodar all the way through. I've still got this pool of colour here. And while it's damp, look for the dark, ready bits as well. Just drop it in. I can't. I haven't got an eye. No. No inclination. No, not a clue at what a piece of. Minced doodah looks like. I rather like the the fact it's got a bit of crimson in it to drop it in. Just tease the brush up and down and let it do its biz. Look for some well, I'm not actually looking for mega darks at the moment. Because I'm going to put them in at some point. Just try and pick out some of this Aussie and crimsony browny colour. I think if you start stick with a shame about that yellow. It's not the best yeah, best yellow for it really. Not in my opinion. So had some serious, that's um, that indigo and green that I started off with for the background here, right in this, right from the get-go. So I can start using that now. So I'll probably have to, I've got, at some point I'll have to clean up my, <laughs> my cheese. <laughs> Well, it's because I'm working wet on wet, seriously wet on wet, and it's just all just bleeding in. But it'll be okay when it dries, so we can just lift it off. Or, as I say, paint over it with some stronger colour. I've got loads of these dark colours, though, to introduce. I think the, the red bit, if you look at it, well, no, just reevaluate it. it. Tends to go right, right through the middle. Just keep dropping it in. Anyway, you get the drift. You, you just got to keep building it up, having a little bit of fun, really. Try and leave a few white bits, or they're not white, whether they were beige bits. I like that dark there. Keep that off. Stick with the Bowser and crimson -y brainy colour. Quite like that. Sort of paintings develop. Things change. Can't remember what that was there. I think that was the crimson and green, really dark colour. Or tidy up with a rigor at some point. Add some more darks. And I think, shall I go right the way down to where that slice of tomato is? Or not? You might as well. This is a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everyone's, I was going to say, chomping at the bit to get home and get their brushes out now. <laughs> Dave, apologies, I'm going to have to disappear. Okay. Good I'll luck see with you. yours. Don't <laughs> tell me you. you're going to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I must admit it's rather tempting, but unfortunately not. <laughs> um, have a good week. See you all yeah. in a yeah. couple of weeks. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 There we go. Um, while it's while I'm in the mood, <coughs> I've got the um, this dark colour floating around. I did say I wanted to. Is that more cheese under that beef burger? I'm just looking at the picture on top of the tomato. It's tomato. Going to be tomatoes. It's yeah, but if you look rich. at the picture. Yeah, the, I haven't got the picture on me. Yeah, it looks like. Well, what, did, what did they else have in it? Wow. Yeah. Looks like the white of an egg. No, I'm on fish. I'm on fish finger sandwiches today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Add a bit more green to this dark colour. Just going to pick out some. Shadowy bits in the letters. Whoops, not too much. Should really be using a rigger for this. Hopefully, I'll. Um, uh, it will spread. So I did. Um, quite diligently draw the little shadowy bits in the lettuce, but alas, I've painted green over them there, so they're gone. But I don't really want to make that too dark. I want it to look soft and delicate over here. So what I'm going to do Put too much water on the brush. <laughs> Amazing. Clean water is not clean anymore. Mm -hmm. Just dab it on it, see if it will, it should soften it down. It's not too bad. I've still got a bit of the bit of green up top anyway, in the other part of the palette. And you can tighten it up later. Tissue on my oh dear. Still got a bit of that left. Da 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 da. No, just for fun. Been working well. This piece of tissue's got loads of paint on it. What I'm going to do is clean ish water, try and lift that off a bit. It's better. You can always come back. Just say it's a bit of, it's the juice out of the burger, it's gone into the cheese. <laughs> No, it's just with this paper, if you don't, if you leave it, it will soak, it will dry and it really will dry in. You'll find it a real nightmare to, well, you won't, it won't lift off. It's my, my whinge of the day. <gasps> Didn't mean to do that. I did mean to put the yellow on, but. I didn't mean to go up into the meat bit. So that's one side of the tomato. And there's another blank. That's stronger than I thought. Strong. I'm going to go up there on that. It's like a secret hidden blend bit. I don't, I don't have any red in this palette, so that's the reason I have to put, oops, maybe I ought to find some. I 
Um, just a sec. We do have a plan B. No artist should be without some cadmium red, really, or tomato red, as it's sometimes called. So, a bit like poppies, though. I was, I've always painted, underpainted it red, uh, yellow, and then dropped the red in. Gives them a bit of a glow underneath. Okay, right, you can go up to there. I'm just going to swish that across up into that bit because I don't know what it is up there. I think it's a piece of the sort of the fleshy bit of the meat. I don't know. It's been so long since I ate meat. It's all out of my. Out of my psyche, you know. You sure it's not? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. going to be a. It's going to be a These are cheese, but that. Uh, or white than it. They don't have I wasn't eggs. sure if it, it looks like um, a leanish piece of meat. Do they put chicken in it with it? <gasps> now you've confused the issue. Thanks for that. <laughs> 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 My beef burgers turned into a chicken. Possible. Well, I don't uh, know what it what it is. It's sweet, isn't it? Do I? But I'm just going to use a little bit of um, the flesh colour yeah. and let let the um, clean water, <laughs> not flesh. What is it? Sand. Oh. Sand colour and let. Them. Oh, I could just eat that. Oh. Stop it. I'm oh. starving. <laughs> My tummy keeps rumbling. <laughs> oh. Well, I've got mm. well, I've got this little bit of I know what it is. I've just found the, the original. Um, is it onion? Of... No, it looks like Thousand Island dressing. Or oh. something like that. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, I can see a shiny oh. bit on it. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you look at the bit at the back, it uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it is or not. Is that what yeah. they put on them? Uh, that's what it looks like. Mm. Looks I like haven't... a sort of pinky, creamy dressing. Mm. So I... Mm. Mm. We'll have to go and buy one and find out. Yeah, go on. Well. <laughs> who's, who's the nearest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that is... is or Big Mac. Just, it's just tomato <laughs> ketchup, isn't it? With mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. The um, are we off for time anyway? Um, Nearly 12. 12. That's okay. Mm. I'm getting bored, that's all. Oh. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I didn't mean that. I meant with the um, with the burger. With the burger, I wanted to get, I wanted to. I just want to leave, make sure I got enough space to put a bit of colour on the the dish. <gasps> I oh, did oh. do it. What's we'll it done now? <laughs> the panels. <palette> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's got. A, oh, I, I wondered if I'd end up with a square doodah on it. You swine! Absolute, mm -hmm. you're an absolute bounder. A little man on a magic carpet. Going to yeah. make the mold yeah. on the burger. <laughs> 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 oh. Guess I've got a vivid imagination. Yeah, it does look like that. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Misspent youth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm having a burger for my tea tonight. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> oh, I've got a nice, really uh, isn't it? Mm. Think you'll, um, in the freezer. 
Yeah, it's good. I think you'll enjoy painting it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's not, it's a bit like last week. It wasn't about um, the overall subject. It was about the difficulty in painting the house. Mm. Yeah. That's what I said at the start. It's, it's really about painting the, um, I'm just going to clean that out. Uh, uh, forcing me and you because I haven't done paint, I know, painted Muddyford Key or anywhere like that for ages. Just a little bit of light. Trying to get it in there. Where's the. I think I'm just putting today's. Thing is about painting um, if you like it's, it's more illustrative isn't it and finding different <coughs> brush strokes and stuff it's a little bit more blue I think and as I say, my plan was, in my mind's eye, to there's no way on this <laughs> planet that I was going to spend my time diligently painting in those no. those lines. So I'm more inclined to, well, what you could do, let's have a bit of fun here. Well, one way of doing it, or an alternative way, is get a nice blue, cerulean or something like that. Make the plate or the, the area that we want damp. let it sort itself out a bit that's fine I've got you under my skin Oh, it looks like it's in outer space. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Sat on top of the moon, look. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> what I might do. Being fired into... I might just extend <laughs> the plate down a bit. He's not listening. Bend it down to the bo bottom. <laughs> Don't blame him. <laughs> and then wipe it off there. Make it look a bit bigger. And get a cotton bud. Well, oh, my plant move. If I could find the brush somewhere. Over the rainbow. Oh. No, on this table. Uh, there it is. No, it's not. Come on, don't. Ah. Here, hide from me. Get a bit of tissue again. Oh, I've got through some tissue here this morning. And uh, I was just going to take lines off of it. Just clear it off. As I say, every week there's always something that, that I get battled with. I did think the plate was going to get on my nerves yeah. at some point. Bum, bum, bum. Where's that? What's it called? It brush. There he is. I've had enough. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Ooh. Might have to stand up for this bit. <laughs> Looks very good. Very good. Mm. <clears throat> Looks like a burger. We're all getting hungry. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. It's a space burger. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, I just got bored then. I wanted to. It's the um the radical part of me. I just wanted to put some paint on paper at some point. I was hoping the green would make it go really. No, I think I need to add some of that indigo. I'll watch this, otherwise my, my mm. plate's getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's also in a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sound effects are extra. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh. <Huh? laughs> Oh, good, I like that sound. I like, funny, I like funny noises, as you know. Mm. You ask Anne, she hears them every Tuesday when she logs on early. Yeah. <laughs> I get She's used familiar. to it because Gordon makes them too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Bit of red. It's local. Drop it in. I've gone all... I can't put any more colours on. So, so I'm going to have to. I'm not going to get too bogged down with that. But the burger is more important. The detail. Mm. It's more about that. I wanted to get that nice, rather than the background. I can. I have something to do for the rest of the week. Tidying <laughs> up the background is part of it, by the looks of it, which I'm not too bad because when it dries, then I'll put some shadow under there, a dark line, and then in, individually during the week, I will put some pencil lines on the flipping plate and slowly with a bit of that really serenely tight blue. And then drop them in. Drop them About the watercolour pencils. Yeah, something like that. And then I can... Oh, gosh, it's getting them all right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think the, the, the secret of that, going back from what we something we did the other week, was to think of it like a clock. Mm. So if you put, it's not quite where I want it to be in the middle, but if you put one in the middle, one at nine o'clock, and gradually, this could be a Claris Cliff plate, couldn't it? <laughs> and gradually. Or well, just do a squiggly pattern all around the thick. Well, it? yeah. It's not really then if you've got one there, so they've got one in the middle there, one there. So you know the next one's going to be pointing something like that. Next one's oh. going to be pointing something like that. And this one's going to be not quite... Oops, I'm left-handed, and I... Quite where... That mm. one, I'd gradually do it like that. I mean, I've spoiled it now by putting that one there. But, but hey-ho, we can gradually build it up slowly. 
and tighten them up later. Clarus glue. This we were a fortune. Actually, they've fizzled out a bit now. But, and once you've done that, you're away, aren't you? Once you've got a few. Where would that one be? 12 o'clock? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be this one right there. I'll put them in quickly, but sometime. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one went a bit wobbly, didn't it? Mm. And for a dishwasher, Carol, yeah. mucks them up, mucks your plates, <laughs> mucks the plates, makes the plates go wonky. Okay. Everyone knows that. Don't put, don't put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> you cook a burger in a quick dishwasher. Mm. People do that, don't they? Fish is favourite. Put fish in a silver foil and put it in the dishwasher. Why can't you just put it in the oven like normal people? I've <laughs> never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, Vincent. Oh, this goes back years. Vincent Price used to do it. Really? Gosh. Yeah. Because it gets really hot, doesn't it? And I used but he's beyond telly. Oh, look what Luke can do. And I thought, why don't you just stick it in the oven? Gosh. <laughs> and once you've got to this stage, the next bit for us watercolour people. He's looking for shadows. Got to tidy the green up on my um, on my the green, the yellow on mm. my bit of um, thing. But as per usual, get to that sort of this stage where it's all so bloody wet. True. <laughs> you frightened to touch it anymore? I like the sound effects when I was on the plate. That was good. Um, the other oh. thing I, that you might want to consider is getting a bigger table. Yeah. <laughs> Put that pallet over there. Yeah. Oops. It's quite a big dollop. Use the um, get a lid on this. Get the fan brush on. I'm quite, I'm quite, quite pleased with this. I think I'll. That's it's a good true. choice. A good Ooh. choice of subject. Um, yeah, it's just put some. That brush. Decide on what brush to use. A dry one, preferably. And just put some speckly bits at some somehow. Boom, Diane. <laughs> mm. Get a drift. Take a bit more care over it and just put some speckle speckly white bits on the burger. It's very difficult sometimes to think. I have to keep telling myself, it's a painting, not a photograph. Because mm. I spend so much time, and quite a lot of hours, trying to fix my space photos on, on, on the interweb, uh, on the computer, that I tends to carry forward into the paintings you forget it's not it's not a photo it's a mm. bloody picture you're supposed to be doing it you know you, you're never going to get it's a piece of art it's not mm. you're supposed to be doing it and the thing about photos is that they're no matter how they try to um, big it up, they are two dimensional. Whereas with these, with a painting, by adding like I'm doing now, 
beefing up, beefing up, <laughs> adding, adding darks to it, you can suddenly bring it out towards you, you know, add more dimension, add that sort of third dimension, give it that feeling of sense of space and all that without getting already farty, which I don't like, but you get what I mean. It's really strange today because the the colour that's always been my bugbear, which was the <laughs> Alzerian crimson, has been the one that, you know, the prevalent one. Watch it, so it's got white on it. Just push it up a bit with a brush. That makes it funny, but you probably might, might not be able to see it, but I can see all the um, pencil lines, which spoils it a bit. But. Try and put some texture in the meat bit using the shadows, but I'm really, um, I've stuck with the quite diligently really with the same palette all the way through. Mixed up the base colors and I'm still using the same ones now. I like it. I might have a play with the, um, Pencils, watercolor pencils at some point, especially on the plate. I should be able to dry that up quite nicely. Um, this is starting to dry off now, Chris, mm. and tone mm. back a bit. Um, when it's when it's bone dry, you can just sort of lift that off. Mm -hmm. And the worst comes to the worst, you can pinch a bit of colour from the edge from the the stretchy bit and then just make that damp and drop it in and it'll mm. tighten it up and there's a footprint over here as well mm -hmm. <laughs> well you only got to go like that and you it does match the palm of my hand <laughs> uh, it's got one yeah, there so. yeah well, i'm not too mm. not too worried about that um and then at some point, we'll add some details on, perhaps a bit strong, really. Just a little bit of light shadowy bits to the edge of there and inside. And that'll be it then. It's a little like with a mount on it. Could do if, um, the problem with this board, because that, top really dried back quite was what I was saying about this paper it soaks it right in and, mm. and throws it back at you and tones it down a heck of a lot so I'm thinking that's probably what's going to happen with the plate in the past if I'm I forgot about it today but I used to stick the plate on the picture and draw around the plate Mm. So I got a really good, accurate, or a nice oval shape. You can, you can sort of, I don't think the green mount's very good, but. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Food for thought. <laughs> Food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I don't. It is a, it certainly set out a challenge. Yes, it looks good. Bread roll mm. looks really good. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Looks like oh. bread. Well, there's a lot. I don't. I think it's a starting point, and for, like I say, for doing further work on really. Oh. That's right. Good. And the way the. Oh. That's the first time I've looked at it. 
in the light. Yeah. Everyone's gone home for lunch. <laughs> I tidied the tidied the plate up. Probably bring it in yeah. a bit there. Bring it in a bit a bit, a bit there. I'm not going to do it now. It's wet. It's bad enough as it is. But when it's bone dry, be able to do some more work on it. Mm. Get it a little bit more accurate. Okay. It's yeah, really good. It's yeah. Oh. <laughs> Something different to have a go at. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's easier than last week's or not? <laughs> no. Just totally no. different. <laughs> yeah. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's a no. Yeah. That is definitely a no. Yeah. Yeah. I just see these ones come firing back at me. But <laughs> for Christine, she's got it's always got the advantage over us in a way over these things because she can paint it a canvas any color she likes white or whatever and then just daub the paint on and let it have fun with it and sort of mix mm. it doesn't have to look like but you, you can just i don't know what's the word do it in a really contemporary sort of splash way you know i reckon you could have some great fun with that Maybe yeah. it's itching to do that myself, I think. Mm. Mm. Sometimes during the week. Um, where's the one we did last week? Oh, I know where it is. <laughs> the other side of that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Where's it gone? What do you mean, mouse? Yeah, after during the week, I tend to everything it changes anyway. But the more I look at it, the more I think, why did I do that? Why? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> All I wanted, I didn't want the house to look like that, but oh. I wanted it to just look like a blur, you know, just a splish splash blosh. Mm. I'm quite pleased about those, they're cuties. Mm. But um, yeah, looks like a big shark down the bottom here coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I crop that. I, I, I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't sure what to do there yesterday. And, and that's where there's a tear in the paper. Oh, so right oh. The it, there's a big dent in the paper. Is I don't know where it came from. So that's what that was about. But as you see, you never know what's going to happen. Mm. <laughs> mm. Stop that. Nice colours, though. Mm. Oh, it is. So like I said, um, it's, there's a, it doesn't matter how you paint that picture, it's got to, it's going to end up with a feeling, a uh, sort of modern contemporary type twist to it, mm. which is why I say you could have just done a coat of blue for the sky, a coat of, of different blue for uh, land, do beachy bit, yeah. and another bit for the water and just had three bands of colour and then just plot the representation mm. of the house on it afterwards. It could have been, I don't know, maybe I was. I don't know, I started it, but it all fell over because I was too shaky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all the walls went wobbly. Oh, no. <laughs> so I abandoned it. Okay. <laughs> I got it after it was knocked down, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just do the beach yeah, yeah. yeah that's right yeah oh i have to How google and find out what it is now i think it's just luxury old baby's flats retirement oh. Oh. nice place to have a retirement home yeah nice view oh. when the wind blows you're so right whereabouts up. in weymouth is that supposed to be then 
I don't know. I think it's on the drive as you go in. There's that long mm. coastal road bit where the fairgrounds over there, isn't it? And there's that great walls all the way along. I think it's all along there. Oh. I don't know. That's your homework. Well, my brother lives at Preston. I can't say I've ever seen I don't know. It doesn't seem because it looks like a little bay of sand, doesn't it? I wondered if it was out the other side. I wondered if it was out towards Portland. Yeah, yeah or uh, towards yeah. Chesil Beach way. Does that yeah. make it sense then because it says it's a ferry, didn't it? And you need a ferry to go across or something. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where it was. Mm. I just saw the um another artist sort of doodle of it and I thought, oh, Mm, mm. that would be it good. It's a nice old house. Mm. <laughs> Past <laughs> tense. <laughs> that was. Was, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we should have just done a heap of rubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, that would have been hard as well, wouldn't it? It would have been, been, yeah. That's right. When you think about it. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? A lot of these um, exercises, things we do, you think, right. I'll do it again. <laughs> if I could do it again, what would I, would yeah. I would do it different? I remember standing out the side here on my decking when they, um, when the power station chimneys went oh, yeah. down. Oh, right. Yeah. Could just about see that. Right. It's quite oh, sad, right. really. <laughs> so mm. watching it disappear. Yeah. yeah. We had a up the bridge here. Yeah, and up the road where yeah. Metal Box was, because they had a chimney, mm -hmm. so that, that's all gone, and they've put um, this lovely care home on the corner and houses behind it. Mm. That's a very, mm. very nice care home, isn't it? Oh, gosh, got... yeah. yeah. Have you seen the old pictures of Lake Road? It was beautiful years ago oh, well, when they be. had all the big trees right down to the water. Yeah, it's like an avenue, wouldn't it? it yeah. Really... Oh. I think that's yeah. how they've spoilt Hamworthy because they've taken all the trees down. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. It's totally different. Mm. Not that I ever saw it like that, but I don't know yeah. how many years ago that was, quite a long time ago. Mm. Yeah, because when you go right down the bottom, you can still get to the bit the bit you ever been right down the bottom of Lake Road. You go off yeah. to the off to the left, you go along Branksy Avenue. If you go down further, must have been mm. lovely when that was all sort of open. Yeah, yeah. And the marine camp wasn't there. That would have been all sort of quite wild, wouldn't it? All along there. Yeah, yeah. lovely. We moved there in 1958. We moved to Hamworth Eaton Ball. All right. Whereabouts did you live in Hamworth? Oh, you were down this road right. with your. Tuckers Lane. Oh, Tuckers wow. Lane, right opposite the school. Yeah, I know. Mm. <coughs> yes. Oh. But um, my sister still lives in Lowworth Avenue. Oh, does she? Yeah. Yeah. She moved from Tuckers Lane to Lowworth Avenue 51 years ago. When oh. They got married. Been there ever since. So she, oh, so she must live in. Well, they've all poshed them all up now, haven't they? All of them except hers, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All. It's like what well, they call it, hand banks, don't they? As opposed hand to hand banks. Hand <laughs> banks. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Been, everybody's oh. been redeveloping their plot and oh, made right. these. Oh, I know. They all look fabulous. lovely, aren't Amazing. they? Amazing. Well, their yeah. lounges are up high now, so they've got the view. That's right. Yeah. yeah. They've all gone topsy turvy. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Okay, Doc, then I'd better go now. Peter's on his way in. So, um, yeah, okay. well, good luck, everybody. For yeah. Week. Yeah. <laughs> to see what the burgers are like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <They're probably so laughs> Just like the look of that taste one. Taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Thanks very yeah. much, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.